This is how I used to cut avocado, like this. And then I was at work and someone saw me do it and they said that I was a psychopath. I'm not a psychopath. Hi, I'm Saul. I'm a professional chef and this is a $107 breakfast sandwich. Hi, I'm Onika and I'm a home cook and these are my $11 breakfast sandwich ingredients. Exactly what I needed. Coffee. What the hell? I thought we were making a breakfast sandwich. I was planning on making breakfast arepas with fried green tomatoes and salsa borracha. I think I'm having a small microdose panic attack. I have some excellent ingredients to work with. I have fresh organic eggs for poaching. What's up with these eggs? Why are they green? Some fresh basil and some slab bacon ready for slicing. I was gonna make my own arepas using arepa flour, sugar and butter, and mozzarella. Am I making bread? No. I'm I had heirloom green tomatoes, which I was gonna batter with eggs and buttermilk flour and cornmeal, and then fry it. I had avocados and lime for a simple spread, all top with a salsa borracha, made with morita and pasilla chiles. Oh, these are two different kinds of chili. This is not a prune. Plum tomatoes and tomatillos, yellow onion, garlic, cilantro, and some beer. It's never too early. This breakfast sandwich, it was going to be delicious, and then, you know this. I'm gonna fake it until I make it. I mean, I'm gonna have to make it for real so I can't fake it. With Onika's recipe, I had simpler ingredients. Stuff you normally find in your pantry or local store. Bacon, eggs, cheddar cheese, a Kaiser roll, tomatoes, sriracha, and a cup of coffee with half and a half inch sugar. These ingredients might be simple, but I can use my chef skills to make this out of this world. If I had to guess, this would probably cost around $9.98. Okay, I was close, not too far off. If I had to guess, this would cost about, hmm, 70 bucks? This is a lot of money for breakfast. So right here, I have Chef Saul's recipe book. Breakfast, our rapists. I have just a list of ingredients. No instructions, no chop, dice, puree, nothing. Am I the only person that has no idea what the heck this is? In my arepas, I put a lot of mozzarella cheese because what's better than cheese? More cheese. <laughs> I am in over my head. Rose. Help us sister out. Hey, Onika, what are you making today? Breakfast arepas, fried green tomatoes, and salsa barracha. I don't even know what arepas are. I'm like, what? <laughs> what is happening? So arepas are small little griddle cakes, but they're made with corn. Take that arepa flour, mix it with sugar, butter, and enough warm water to make it all come together. Add salt, and then you're gonna knead it together and add a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Once you have that dough, you're gonna rest it for only 15 minutes. You're gonna separate it into little balls, and then you're gonna flatten them out. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, you are so, so much. So I'm gonna start with sugar, melted butter, and then uh, a little bit of water. Oh, you get to play like if it's putty or something. Rose said I'm gonna have to taste it. I don't wanna put too much salt. So I'm gonna make an adjustment to this roll. So what I do with my daughter's sandwiches, it's I cut the edges. And that's because they don't like the edges. Did this happen to you too? So, there we go. Just like the way they like it. Make sure this Sides are even. So now my plan is to make uh, a croque madame. Basically, it's a French uh, breakfast sandwich with an egg on top. You know what we're calling it today? A croque montiel. It's going to have layers of love. A delicious, crispy bacon, spicy sauce, baked eggs, and it's going to be delicious. I have cheese, I have bread. You know what's coming, the cheese trick. Make sure it's nice and hot, but not too hot because you don't want to burn the cheese. And this is very simple. We're gonna start with just one. You hear the noise? That's the noise of love. Now we're gonna take one of these, press a little bit, let it fry, let it fry, let it fry, and boom, the cheese trick. So I'm gonna put in this mozzarella because I think that this is just gonna make everything a little bit better. This is work. Shout out to the Amuelas. I'm gonna let it rest for 15 minutes because we worked her out. 
So we don't want it really dry, we don't want it really moist. The key is right here. Play with the dough, you don't see it on your hands, it's ready. So the dough feels great now that it's been rested. It's not sticking to my hands. So now I gotta flatten them out a little bit. That's pretty. This is a moist towel. So now these babies are gonna rest for a bit until we're ready to griddle. Okay, now it's time to make these arepas. Try to get them up here. Let's see how many we can get on this griddle. A rose said to let them cook five to seven minutes. So what I'm gonna do is keep flipping them because I have no idea. I think I should just wait, just be patient. Patience is a virtue. My ADD is gonna act up now. I'm supposed to be looking for like a browning, right? Oh yeah, that looks like an English muffin. Ha, huh! yes, I feel proud of myself. Now I'm gonna say stuff like, cause I bake bread, honey. We're done. So Onika sent me this baking and I can only think of one thing. I'm gonna candy the crap out of this bacon. Just like that. These are my two favorite ingredients. They're about to get married and have beautiful candy bacon children. Okay, so now it's time for me to cut my slab bacon. I sent Onika slab bacon. And the most beautiful part about this is you can cut it the way you want it. I like the bacon to be thin because we're working with arepa dough. So arepa dough is already thick. You have to bake it at 350 for maybe 15, 20 minutes. It all depends on how thick you cut it. I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar that I got from for my lovely coffee. Now, when you do this, do it from high up, so like that the sugar can go evenly. What sugar is going to do is going to caramelize, and it's going to add a really nice golden color. It's going to help the bacon taste sweet. Okay, and I'm going to add some black pepper. The reason why I add black pepper is because adding something spicy to bacon and sugar is going to make this candy bacon one of the best candy bacons ever. So now I'm going to bake this for 350, 10, 50 minutes. Every five minutes, just turn it around and, and see what happens. Okay, I can, I can see the difference between the pack and cutting it yourself. It's more love in these. And it's looking like it's ready. And it's only one way to find out. Mmm, candy bacon. So now it's time to make the avocado spread. It's really Very simple, simple. But I wanted to do it on the mocajete. Basically, it's a piece of volcano rock and it has this beautiful shape where you can model your spices and it kind of adds a little bit of flavor to it because every time I eat a salsa from here it tastes delicious maybe it's all the hard work that I put it into it goody goody out look at that just scoop 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 just gonna cut the lime I don't know I like lime better than lemon lime just seems like it's lemon's prettier cousin so now we're gonna start mashing go slow at first chef Saul you really making me work a little salt. Booyah! Sorry. <laughs> Onika sent me a nice hot coffee. Sugar and a half and a half. Let's make a coffee granita. In another words, shave ice coffee. <gasps> it's really hot, so be careful. Don't do this at home. Do it in front of a camera where a thousand of people can see you. <laughs> I'm gonna do five package of sugar. Yeah, maybe it's too much sugar, but Again, we're making a dessert. Mix it very well. Now what we're gonna do, get a container like this and just dump it in there. We're gonna put it in the freezer and every 10 minutes, we're gonna go and mix it in until you get like a crystal ice coffee. Basically, we want to scratch the coffee. If you can see how the coffee is, come, is looking like crystals. So you're gonna do that maybe two or three times. Scratch, 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 scratch. Crystals of coffee, coffee granita. So Chef Saul is having me fry fried green tomatoes. I'm just gonna cut the tomato. I wanna try to get them a little thick because we want a little bit of weight to them while we're frying them. Uh, uh. So I sent Onika Herlon tomatoes. They're very sweet and, and, and delicious, and right now it's the season for them. That seed was never mixed with any other tomatoes, so they're unique. This is where the buttermilk comes in. Okay, this green egg is a little, I don't know. I don't know about this, Chef Saul, but I'm gonna trust you. This color's like blood orange. If I cracked that egg open at my house, I would think something was wrong with the egg. 
cornmeal, which is grainier than the other flour that we used for the bread. I love black pepper. I love cracking it. And a little bit of salt. Well, look, it's pretty. All right. Okay, so let's go, girls. You ready? So now we have the flour, the egg wash. I can't believe that egg was so red. Look at that. What goes with the granita? Whipped cream. It's very hard to make whipped cream with half and a half because it's less fat content in here. So that's why it's gonna take longer. I've never done this before. I don't even know if this exists. I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar because it's half and a half. Make sure your bowl is nice and frozen and also you uh, half and a half, make sure it's nice and cold. But I like challenges. Came to this country with two things, hope and dreams. And here I am making videos. <laughs> Now, no more jokes, let's get serious in here. I'm gonna be doing this for the next maybe 20 minutes. All right, so now it's time to fry up these tomatoes. You know how when you ease into like a jacuzzi, you're just like, let me just get my, let's put a little toe in first. So let's just let this do what it's gonna do. The sound of oil makes me happy a little bit. I feel like they're cheering me on. The tomatoes are like, yes, yes, girl. You could do it, I, you believed in me. You believed in me when I didn't. And, and I just wanna thank you for that. That's the color, look at that. So now I'm just gonna season them with salt while they're hot. There you go, fried green tomatoes. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. It's happening. I can see the light. So this is as whip as we can get it. Okay, so these are all the ingredients for my salsa barracha. What am I doing with that? It's a cooked salsa. So you're gonna take those chilies, cut the tops off, slice them lengthwise, and take the seeds out. All right, now for my onion. I'm just gonna slice the top and the bottom. And then I'm just gonna make cut this in fours. Look. I love garlic. Garlic makes everything taste better. I just need two is what Rose said. I know chefs are cringing like, what the heck is she doing? It's fine, calm down. So there's two. We're gonna throw these in later. Look at this. Why? It's like a new toy. And then the tomatoes. So now the veggies are ready for the salsa. All right, let's make a sauce. Inspired by Amatrechana sauce. Amatrechana sauce, it's uh, basically spicy sauce made with pancetta, onions, tomatoes. We're gonna start with medium heat. We're gonna do some small pieces of bacon. I'm gonna add this bacon here. Now we're just gonna make sure you break apart all the bacon. So I'm gonna start with the peppers. So I think Rose said that I had to put these in for about a minute until I smell them. I smell it a little bit. I feel like I want more. Oh yeah, I can see it. You know how when a baby starts stretching, it's like, that's what it's doing. Cause it was like tight before, now it's kinda like. After that's done, remove those peppers, put them on the side. Add the onions, the garlic, the tomatoes, the tomatillo. Make sure you char all these vegetables. Woo! That, whoa, it's like 4th of July. This smells amazing. A little bit of salt. And then we're gonna prep this beer while we're waiting for that. I think it's about ready. All right. Onika wanted to slice these tomatoes and put it into her sandwich. I'm gonna make a sauce with this. The smaller dice you get, the faster your sauce will break down and it will cook. And we wanna keep the seeds of the tomatoes here because it's gonna add more juice to the sauce. See all this fat? See, that's my oil. You have hot oil, open fire, ingredient with liquid in it. If you mix it right now, you probably get fire all over. The only way to do that is by removing your pan to the sides, dump it, Mix it, put it back. Now, black pepper, salt, and now we're gonna cook this, now maybe like 10 minutes. So now it's time to start with the Vitamix. So I'm gonna start with my beer. Drop that one in, that in. Okay, don't forget the garlic and the peppers. The beer's like, hey ladies, you wanna party? <laughs> 
A uh, salsa borracha basically is a drunken salsa because we use beer. Tomatoes like, I want to go. And the onions like, I think I'll go too. The peppers are like, I don't want to go. I, we came together. We're supposed to leave together. You know, the peppers are always that person that's like, we came together. We're supposed to sh just shut up and go with the flow. Turn it up. You got to get the peppers to go because if, if the peppers don't go, then we all can't. All right, they're with it. The peppers are in. <laughs> and then bring it back to, to simmer. You don't cook all the vegetables all the way. You want to finish it when you simmer the sauce. So we're going to heat it up. Oh, look, she's bubbling up on ice. All right, relax, girl. I just, just want to taste it. I've never tasted anything like this. Like a wave on my palate is doing like this. I would like a pinch of salt. All right, salsa barracha is done. So for my Italian friends out there, don't kill me. This is where we add the sriracha. So normally for a matrachena, you use uh, red, red pepper flakes. Cook it. Make sure you mix it nice and well. We need to try this. Delicious. And there you have it, the sauce. Now it's time to add the eggs. Rose has some good tips on how to do this. So you're gonna get really hot water. You're gonna add just a little bit of vinegar, like a teaspoon or two. You're gonna crack the egg into a small bowl. So you're gonna have your pot of water, start a little whirlpool, and very gently just pour the egg into that whirlpool. Perfect poached egg. I'm poaching an egg, look. I'm poaching an egg, look. So I'm gonna give it another like 30, 20, 10, five, one second. I poached an egg, I poach, poached an egg. I'ma poach another egg. See, I always get a little cocky. I always get a little cocky. Calm down, Monica, calm down. Let's do one egg over here into the sauce and then bake it. Why I'm doing this way? Because in every single bite, you will get a taste of the sauce and the egg. It's very simple and it's very delicious. You kill two eggs with one pen. <laughs> into the oven. We're gonna cook the eggs at 375, anywhere from five to seven minutes. You see them dancing? They're dancing because they're happy. Okay, my eggs are ready. They look amazing. It's time to put this baby all together. Rose said just slice it, stay together. Okay, pick some of this. That looks good. My bacon. This bacon looks beautiful. I'm gonna take my fried green tomato. You guys see that perfectly poached egg? Do you see that? My cilantro and my salsa barracha. I'm gonna stir it up. I'm a chef, and this is my take on Chef Saul's breakfast sandwich. This is the fanciest breakfast sandwich I've seen in my life. Okay, it's time to assemble my croque montiel. Now we're gonna put plenty of sauce because this bread is kind of dry. There we go. This on top. Oh, it looks so pretty. More sauce. So we're only gonna do one egg and then we're gonna take the nicest piece of bacon. And there you have it. My take on Onika's recipe. Granita time. Let's put plenty of granita into this beautiful cup. Keep this chill, this chill, everything chill. And now the whipping Half and a half, there we go. Coffee granita with whipping, half and a half. I got my sandwich, I got my granita, let's taste this. So this is what I was telling you, see the egg yolk? This is the, uh, the rock star of the dish. It's delicious. It's spicy enough and it's salty and it's sweet. That candied bacon, it's insane. Coffee granita. Oh gosh. It's so refreshing. It tastes like daily coffee. It's just amazing. I'm ready to taste this bad boy. All right, this may get a little messy. Mm -hmm. The crispiness of the fried green tomato coupled with the crunch of the bacon, and then the softness of this egg with the spread. They just mesh so well together. I can't wait to check in with Chef Saul to see what he did with my recipe. 
Hi, Chef Sue. Hey. How, How are, are you? you? How's everything? Uh, it's wonderful. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. My baby. My baby on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> I think you did it better than me. No. I did your day. I wasn't expecting this. The arepa looks the way it's supposed to look. The guacamole, the salsa borracha, everything is there. Amazing. I don't even know where to start. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is delicious. The way you took the sriracha sauce and took it to a whole other level. Uh, we took the inspiration from two dishes, um, like a shishuka eggs, like a baked eggs, mm -hmm. and also a croque madame, which I call this a croque montiel. It has Thank just the right amount of kick. It's amazing. So what do you think of mine? I mean, there's only one way to find out. Okay, it's still warm, nice. That, that's, that's a big win right here. You see that, right? The, the egg yolk. It's raw and runny, that's it, you're a rock star. So, good job. Should I be honest? You, yes. Good job. Yes, I you dropped the mic. <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it. Yeah? Everything's there. Did you use all the ingredients? Because where's the coffee? I did. I think that was the most challenging part. This is what I did with your coffee. So I did a coffee granita, which is like an Italian frozen dessert. Don't ever try <laughs> to whip half and a half. It doesn't work. It takes a long time and it's a hard. And it's cold. Oh. Mm. This is good. It's like a coffee icy. Mm -hmm. I think you did an excellent job. And that is not what I meant when I gave you that coffee. But OK. <laughs> <laughs> Now you gotta do like this. Brush your shoulders off. <laughs>